missing doll. Sorry, old buddy. You want some more tea? Have some tea with me. It's as fancy as a drink can be. La -dee -dee. Here comes the thunder. Kappa kapow! My turn. Yeah. Mm. Nice mm. catch. You'll never score. Oh, is that right? Here comes Bucky's mega ultra kick of doom. Mm. Uh. Yes. 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 No. Huh? Oh, look what you've done! You almost smushed my favorite doll of all time! Then, I guess I'm sorry. Can we have our ball back, please? All right, I'll get it back for you. Just promise you'll keep an eye on Ari. Don't let something else happen to him. He's sensitive. He'll be just fine. With Bucky and Bjorn on the scene, nothing will happen to him. Nothing. No way, no how. You can trust us. Bucky, what happened to the doll? Oh, oh, Franny is gonna freak out big time. Yeah, here's the plan. While Franny's off getting our ball, we'll find the doll. Boys, where is my Ari? Mm, Bjorn, you find the doll while I distract the fox. Franny, hey there. Walk with me. I'll explain the whole thing. Did you wink at Bjorn behind my back? Nope. Here, dolly, dolly, dolly. Chicky, come on, help me look for it. Here's the deal. There's one lone day in every year when Ari comes to life and goes to see his friend for an hour or two. How could I never have heard that? What's Ari's buddy's name anyway? I'm pretty sure it's, a uh, Flarpy Flooperstein. We've just got to keep looking, Chicky. Chicky, please tell me you found something. Bug, bug, bug. Bug, bug, ug. Is it with the fish? Oh, I wish. Here, there, where, oh, where? I swear, it's just not fair. Bear in despair. That's not a doll at all. Oh, got it. Chicky, that is a genius idea. All I need is some scissors. So Ari just went to visit Florpy Fluberstein for a while. He strolled around the forest, looking at nature and stuff and greeting all his buddies. Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, knock, that's who? K the J, what do you say? Ari, hey, have a nice day. Strolling through the wood, feeling good, good, good. Until, mercy me, Florpy Fluberstein was stuck up in a tree. Well, how did he get way up there? Well, obviously, the wind carried him up. Snip, snip, snip. Rip, rip, snip, snip, clip. Got to make sure that Franny doesn't flip. All it takes is a little craftsmanship. Turned out okay. It's close enough to Franny's toy, right? It turned out Florby Fluberstein was terrified of heights. Luckily, Ari always packed about a quarter of colored paper, which he chained into a lasso so he could climb up and see Florby safely back to ground. Yeah! And then, did they have some nice tea or something? Yeah! They had pine cone zinger and anthill cakes! So Ari should be back from his friends now, shouldn't he? Ari, I'm on my way! I can't wait to see you! Wait! Franny, he isn't back yet! Uh, I hope that was enough time. Oh, Franny is never gonna believe that that's her Ari. Whoa! Wind's up! Hmm. Is that Ari? How'd you get up there? This happened in the story I just told. Let's just get you back to Franny. Come here. Ah, falling! Ah, not good. Hey, I got him! Here I am! Ari, where are you? Franny, um, well, the thing is, your doll's right here. Ari, give me huggies! Why are you purple? Are you sick or something? Franny! Hey, Franny! <sighs> I'm a little out of breath, but here's your doll, Ari! <laughs> Lovely Ari! So, who's that? Right over there with Bjorn. This is, uh, well... Yeah, this is... Uh, it's Florpy Flooberstein! Isn't that right? Um, yeah. It's Floppy Flugel Guy. Chicky, no pre-chewing other guests' food like last time. Ari, should I pour you some more tea? Mr. Flooberstein, can I offer you some cookies to eat? They're yum delicious nummies! Seriously? Floppy Flooberstein? What of it? It's a really common name on Mars. 
A present for Bucky. Stealthy, sneaky. Like a ninja spy ghost. Oh, I see. Right, position's good. Mega Snoopomatic time. Booting up. System check. I spy with my robot eye. A super genius guy. Hi. And here we go. Oh, really? Okay, fine. We'll warm it. Right, just a little bit further. It's almost in position. Uh-oh. Uh Bucky, I know you can hear me. No, I can't. Come on. I can see you back there. <laughs> Are you still trying to find out what I'm giving you for a birthday present? Never. Well, maybe a little, yes. But, Bucky, it's a surprise. Just one little hint. The size or the color. What letter of the alphabet does it start with? Bucky, it's a uh. surprise. Oh. La, 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 it's apple time. Yeah! Hi there, Granny. <gasps> Do you know what Bjorn's giving me for a birthday present? He didn't tell me. What? It's nothing too special. It's only the super coolest, awesomest, mind blowing <gasps> birthday present that the world's ever seen. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. He's the best. Bjorn, come on. Pretty please with super tons of whipped cream on top of it? Tell me what Bucky's birthday present is. All right, but promise you aren't going to spoil the surprise. Crossing my heart, I completely swear that never shall this news I share. All right, come see. The password is iceberg underwear. Pretty impressive security. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Gosh and golly! This is just totally the best! La 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 la! Granny, I can't gotta tell me what my present is! I'm Come on! To I'm myself. dying here! I'm begging you, please! <laughs> Sorry, Bucky. Did you say something? If it was something about your present, I promised Bjorn I'd keep it secret. Fine. Keep his dumb secret. Let's forget it then. I bet he didn't really tell you. Yes, he did too. Uh, no, he didn't. He absolutely did. Nope, didn't happen. You're wrong. He did. Bjorn's giving you a card with beautiful dried daisies on it. <gasps> uh, is that really it? Truly? Dried flowers on a crummy little card! Disappointment. Crushing me like a boa constrictor. Midnight. Welcome to the anniversary of the day you were activated. Short party. Disappointment. Card daisies. Come back tomorrow or never! Huh? Huh? Bucky, hey! Happy birthday to you from your dearest friends! I prepared you a little surprise, and if you're ready... Bjorn, I kind of already know. A card with dried flowers stuck on I'm it. I'm not sure what that means. This, Bucky, is a glider, see? It's taken me practically a whole month to build it. So happy birthday, Bucky! Ugh. All right! A glider! I don't believe it! This is incredible! Thank you, Bjorni! You're just the best! And the cake is awesome, so yummy and creamy! Mm. This is the best birthday in the entire history of Bucky Bear birthdays! Franny, <laughs> 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 you totally had me going with that whole card thing! <laughs> I know! I am a master of deception! <laughs> A portrait of Bjorn. Look at this.
this, Franny. What do you think? Wowee! It's beautiful! It's me in the north. It's my favorite picture. Hi! Huh? Morning, Bjorn. Listen, Chicky wants you for something outside. Um, all right. I'll be back in a minute. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! My new Paint Your Hominator dome! Let's paint Bjorn's house as a surprise! Fantastic colors from wall to wall! Hang on! Bjorn will be coming back in a moment. Actually, Chicky's agreed to distract Bjorn for a while. Right. We pour some paint into these cups. Yay! Then press! Then wait until the paint sack is filled up. Then I pull out my high-tech Puppetron and instantly paint the room. Uh... That's... some impressive coverage. Bucky, just look at Bjorn's house! Oh, no! Franny, we don't need to panic. We can fix it before Bjorn even knows it ever happened. There's no need to worry. Still, we'd better hurry and scrub a dub with every sud we find. So this is kind of a disaster. Come on, let's move faster. If Bjorn sees this, he'll kick my brown behind. Wash out the pink, orange, purple, and green for my exploding painting machine. Hey, now it's all clean. No! Bjorn's portrait! That? Hmm. I guess it kind of looks like him. But that portrait is his favorite, and we've ruined it! We'll fix it! So Bjorn never knows it even happened! <laughs> Ta-da! Bucky, where did the portrait go? Cause it's gone! Not a problem! Cause, uh, I'll just uh, totally fix it so Bjorn never knows it happened! We'll just paint it over, that's what we'll do! Bucky, I didn't know you were an artist! And a good one! I'll make a new portrait that's exactly like the other one! First, I'll start with the basics. Bring order to the whole through design, composition, tension, balance, light, harmony, and then some other fancy words like a perspective and stuff. Some junk up here, a happy tree, and voila! Not bad, huh? Um, well, it's not exactly right. Everybody's a critic. Why don't you just do it yourself, then? Knock yourself out. Why don't we just tell Bjorn we ruined it and then say sorry? Just stop! Do you want Bjorn to be furious at us, do you? So mad he goes back up north and lives alone in Blizzardville, friendless and frozen? Ugh. I'm so depressed without my favorite portrait. Ugh. Bucky, we just can't let Bjorn find out the truth. Yes, Franny, that's right. So you've got some painting to do. But I honestly don't know how. Then, Franny, it's your lucky day, because I'm a super awesome teacher of the arts. Uh-oh. I can't remember what this portrait thing is supposed to look like. <laughs> Just like this. Now paint. Do I start with, like, your foot or what? No, I think you should start with the old noggin. Head first. Okay. What should I paint next? Now just paint the rest of it and hurry. I'm getting tired of standing like this. Fair. Just remember to use lots of art. <laughs> Franny, this is awesome. Just what we're looking for. I'm finally back. Finding Chicky was hard to do. Um, what is that? Come on, Bjorn. This is your favorite picture of all time, right? Sure, but can you tell me why it's of you now? Uh, you are very right, but we can fix it. Now stand just exactly like this. Franny, start the art. <laughs> huh? Hey, look, it's even better than before. Hey, Franny, you should paint yourself and Chicky into it. What's that thing over there? Uh... Bjorn! Do not press that! Um, surprise! It's sort of beautiful, don't you think? It's like modern art. We can fix this so that you never know what even happened. All grown up!
<laughs> I'd like to try. Hey, come on, it's your turn. It's Franny's turn now, all right? We can't, Franny. Only grown-ups are allowed. Yeah, it isn't safe. You're just too little. Well, I'm not really a little kid at all. The truth is that I'm big. <laughs> <laughs> nice going. Weren't you listening? This is just for grown-ups. Yeah? Well, I'm a grown-up. Oh, is that right? We'll just see about that. And now, presenting my new adult retronizer Matic, the grown-up tester. Stand right here, Franny. Yep. All right. The second you're as big as this other line up here, that's when you'll be a grown-up for real. But Franny, until you're that big, you'll just have to do as we say. Because grown-ups know everything. Like, you should eat your vegetables and no stunt riding. Play dollies instead. Listen to the grown-ups, huh? I think I have an idea. When the doors have all got giant locks, when they try to keep you in a box, Build yourself some wooden blocks. Oh, you can't outbox a fox. <laughs> hey, let me have a turn, guys. <laughs> Franny, we talked about this. You're just too little. But am I? I've grown up quite a bit. <laughs> Gosh, they just grow up so fast. And since I'm officially a grown-up, I can do whatever I want. I feel so mature! <laughs> Look at her go. She can have the half pipe. Because, Bjorn, I've got the ultimate grown-up plan. Look, here's the bend in the river. It's the perfect spot to build our jump. We'll start at the top of a crazy tall slide and then kerplunge. Then what? You crash into the water? We don't crash. We kerplunge with studly grace. Just listen up. As a real official grown-up, I forbid this. It's just too dangerous. What makes you think that you're the boss of us? We're just as tall as you yeah. are. All right, boys. Excuse me a minute. I'll be right back. When you're faced with a silly, stubborn guy, and you know that you can't see eye to eye, make your blocks a bit more high. Boxes are sly. Golly, it looks like I'm more grown up than you guys. Bucky, what's going on? Uh. I honestly don't know. That's quite enough chatting. It's nap time. Time for snoozies. Close your little eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be running. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting stuff done? Yeah. Uh -huh. <gasps> Boys, it's homework time. No sweets, you'll ruin your lunch. These oh. soft drinks are bad for your teeth. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's not time for soccer. Flying's oh. oh. too dangerous. You must always listen to your elders and tallers. Bjorn, am I the only one that's getting tired of listening to our elders? Oh yeah, I'm right there with you, but I have an idea. La 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 la. Gosh, being a grown-up is just wonderful. Right, Ari? You betcha, Franny. Franny, hey there. Shouldn't you put all your dolls away? Why? I love them. But you're all grown. And Franny, grown-ups never play with dollies. Mm. Golly. Would you like a piece of candy or two? Yeah, of course I would. Nah, I was talking to Bucky. You can't have it, right? Grown-ups don't eat candy. That's not fair. That's right. Franny, hey, let me ask you something. A light bulb in my house needs to be replaced, but it's just so scary and dark. Change it, please. I can't. I'm really scared of the dark. That doesn't make sense, because you are a grown-up, right? No, I'm really tired of being a grown-up. Look at this. I'm suddenly little again. Now it's your turn to be grown-ups. You can change your own bulb in the scary dark, and I'll take my doll back and the candy. Well, all right, we're on. Let's go build our dangerous river jump. Can I come with you guys? Are you going to try and talk some sense into us? Absolutely not. Well, then, come on. Postman Chicky. 
The Swiss Army Remind Matic is gonna change the world! A little bit, and twist, and that, and this. I just need to go and borrow Bjorn's boomerang! Ha <laughs> ha! Genius coming through! Hi, buddy bear! What are you making, a scarecrow or something? I really need your boomerang. Not a scarecrow, Bucky. It's a fox with a butterfly net. Nope, don't see it. Here, Bucky. Thanks a lot. Good luck with your project. Oh, hornets, I'm all out of paint. I'll go borrow some from Bucky. Hey, Franny. Hey there, Bucky. Do you think I could borrow some paint from you? Ah. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Do you need me to bring something from my place when I return this? Thanks, but I pretty much have got everything. Dude, can I borrow some ice? Got any glue I can have? You're gone. Back for a clipper? Pig mask? Goggles? Shovel? Garden hose? One of these? Some of those. The list just grows and grows. What'll I need next? No one knows. Whoa. I brought your watering can back. Running back and forth like this really has worn me out. You're right. Tell me about it. I wish we had our own postal route. Bjorn, you're a genius. And our private postal worker could be a chicky. There, chicky. Deliver this package to Bjorn, all right? Look at that. Bucky, this could actually work out. Or it could totally fail. Unless uh. we put Chicky through Postbird Boot Camp. It's time to make the best out of the worst. We'll train that bird from beak to wing to leg. And maybe we'll know which came first, the mailman or the egg. Awesome, Chicky. Great job. You're officially a Postbird, and we're incredibly proud. All right, Chicky, deliver this package to Bjorn, please. Oh, Chicky, hey! Come with me to catch butterflies. Come back. Whoa! Neither snow, nor rain, nor quicksand, nor space monkeys, nor selfish little bears will stay this small chicken from the swift completion of his silly rounds. Goodness! Poor little thing. The guys are running you ragged. It's unacceptable. But Chicky, you know what? It's time for you and me to turn the tables on them. Uh, Franny? What's up? What's wrong with him? Isn't it obvious, guys? Chicky's sick as a dog! Just wonderful! Who's gonna deliver our stuff? Forget your silly stuff! Help Chicky! Right, we need some hot water, some tea and some mint, lemon, and hot broth. Yeah, we'll help! Sure! Chicky, please bring us some tea, lemon... No, no, no! Just listen here! Uh, Get out there and bring uh, back everything Chicky needs and do it double time! Uh, yes, yes, Franny! Right, right away, Franny! It worked, Chicky. Those boys will learn exactly what it feels like to be an overworked, tired post chicken. Uh, bring the hot water bottle. We need more tea. And pillows, please. No, more than that. Blanket, extra bubble bath, gingerbread bed, a book about butterflies. Bucky, I'm about to fall over. Do you think you could teach your remind -o matic to haul this stuff for us? What is taking uh. so long? High score. Nice move. <laughs> you guys better hurry up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rose colored glasses.
Lucky. Come out and play with us. We can make bouquets out of all the colorful leaves. Yeah, and float paper boats in huh? all the puddles. Uh... <laughs> oh. No thanks. It's wet and nasty out there and cold. Ugh, gross. <sighs> Lucky, quit moping and come with us. Moping? I don't know that word. Is it something dangerous? Moping is acting sad and not even wanting to do anything fun. Bucky, enough sadness. Just come outside. I don't want to go. I've never understood bears who love the autumn. <sighs> the cold and mud and rain. Nasty. I prefer the river, sunshine, plants in bloom, rosy perfect sunrises. <gasps> Whoa, idea! Rain, cold, mud, 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 cold, cold, rain. A season's go. The autumn's just a pain. But I won't mope and complain. Instead, I'll use my brain. Great idea becomes a great design. Gosh, I love this amazing brain of mine. Now the sun will always shine, and I'll start feeling fine. Ah. Thanks, big brain. You got the sun to shine, and now I'm feeling. <laughs> Bjorn, look! What a beautiful leaf this is. Guys, Bucky has arrived. Whoa, Bucky, what are you wearing on your face? Yeah, nice, huh? They're my special glasses. I look at stuff through them, and all's as it should be. Here, have a look through them. Huh? Huh. Bucky, it's pretty, but it's not real. It's not real? Well, it's real enough for this bear. I'm going for a walk in the awesome sunshine. That's new. Just amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Just look at all the pretty colors. Pretty. Ah. Ah. Bjorn, what's going on here? Everything looks different through those rose-colored glasses of his. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Bucky, hold it! You'll get filthy! It's really muddy right there! It isn't muddy in my butterfly ship. Oh, the shining sea. I adore the ocean life. Bucky, don't you think you should go home? It's cold out here. Are you kidding? It's a warm and wonderful life. Bucky, you're not in the ocean. You're in a mud puddle. Come on, guys. You're just moping. It's depressing. Bucky, just stop this and take those glasses off. Bucky, you're acting like a crazy bear. What is going on? I'm cold all of a sudden. Ah! A puddle! Well, why are you standing there watching? Get me out of this muddy yuck bath. So I guess wearing rose-colored glasses is dangerous. Mm. Turns out it's much smarter to look at stuff like it is. Pretty soon, winter will arrive, and then we'll have skiing and sledding and snowball fights. Bjorni, that's so right. Winter is the coolest. <gasps> Look at that! It's snowing! <laughs> Booyah! Let's catch snowflakes on our tongues! Autumn's not so bad. It's just the path to awesome winter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cold! I love the snow! Winter rocks! <laughs> the Honest Truth! So I walked outside and the entire night sky was filled with beautiful shimmering lights. The northern lights, or as some say, the aurora borealis. Eh, uh, that's 
nothing, Bjorn. Hmm? But this one night, I went out alone and saw a big bunch of gnomes, right? But they were totally playing soccer. Franny, quit making stuff up. Everybody knows there's no such thing as gnomes. Go on, Bjorn. Huh? Tell us another story about the frozen north. Ah. There was this other time when I was riding on a big reindeer. Reindeer? What's exciting about that? This one time, I went up to the moon in a blue spaghetti pot. Franny, would you please just stop it? That is impossible. I promise you it isn't. You're just making up stories. Everything I told you really happened. Oh, it happened, did it? Well, we'll just see about that. Gnomes aren't real. I know they're not. You can't fight to the moon in a spaghetti pot. It's time to put Franny on the spot. She needs to learn that if you fib a lot, you'll get caught. Check this baby out. My brilliant defibrillator. Or I might call huh? it the truthotron. You huh. walk through the fib blocking rays and you huh? must tell the truth. Huh. Then you stop being able to tell lies? And you can't tell anything but the truth. Hi there, Bucky. Hi there, Bjorny. Golly. So what is that? This is, uh, it's a magical portal. It's a door that leads to an enchanted fairyland. I want to go to shiny fairyland. Go for it, Franny. <gasps> Where are all the fairies? The door must be busted. What a shame. I'm sorry. So, Franny, hey, did you fly to the moon in a spaghetti pot for real? Of course I did. Not. Oops. Yes! The truth at last! From now on, Franny, you're only going to tell us <sighs> the truth. Bucky! Huh? Hi there! <laughs> Working on a new invention? Hi! Yeah, it's my new back scratchinator. Your what? Look, if I come down with a case of itchy back, but both of my hands are occupied, then I just press this button like boop. Ah. <sighs> Cool, right? Well, Bucky, the truth is I think you're wasting your time on that useless thing. Just scratch your back on a corner or a tree or something. Huh? Hi, Bjorn. What you doing? Greetings. Look at this. I've created a rock garden. Beautiful, isn't it? What? Beautiful? Not even a little bit. It's just a pile of rocks. How is that pretty? Meh. But it took me such a long time. Hauling these rocks from the river. Yikes, what a tragic waste of time. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Gosh, Bjorn, there's rocks all over the path. It's dangerous. <laughs> Bjorn, you want to bet my Rodotroninator Maticizer will catch more fish than your little stick of bamboo, huh? <laughs> Bucky, Bjorny, come play with me. Franny. We're busy. We're fishing. Move on. Haven't you huh? learned? You're never going to catch anything, you guys. Your Rodotron What's It is going to completely break, mm -hmm. and Bjorn will just sleep through every bite huh. he gets. You got a ah. bite, Bjorn? Reel it in! Ah. Ah. Oh, I was asleep. You fell asleep? Just what Franny said would happen. You slept through the bite. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's with Franny? Who talks like that to their good friends, even if you're just telling the truth? All right, then. Come on, buddy. Let's go get back the old Franny that we both love. Honesty can be mean. Look, Franny, I fixed the portal. Go and frolic in Fairyland. <laughs> So, where are they? Dumb machine, I can't get it working. Franny, guess what? The two of us just drew a portrait of Chicky. <laughs> so tell us what you think. Honestly, it's not bad. I really like it. You got all the colors exactly <laughs> right. I feel like I've seen a picture just like this. Yeah, I've got it. It was on the wall in my gnome friend's cave. Of course, between a picture of a unicorn and a picture of Bigfoot. The Porcupotamus. <laughs> Now it's done, except for his carrot nose. I'll just go and get one. 
there's nothing special about his snowman, but mine will be awesome and huge. I just need to roll up a monster big head. I've got this. It's just so heavy. Hey, come back, head. Oh, oopsie. Bjorn is going to be furious. Look at the awesome nose-like carrot that I just found. Lucky, what happened? Uh, uh, my beautiful snowman. Um, it, um, well, a porcupotamus trampled it. That's it. It was gigantic and scary. There I was, hard at work on my own snowman. And he charged out of the woods. Stomp, stamp, crush, crash. Right over your gorgeous snowman. Then he just thwomped off across the snow. Porcupotamus? That's very weird. Where could a wild animal that big even come from? I just told you. He came from the woods over there. Hi there, Bucky. Hi there, Bjorny. You guys want to come help me decorate my tree? Doing stuff and other stuff when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they do other stuff. I have the perfect spot for you. Look, here's a spot for you that looks good. It still seems like something's missing. The star at the top, that's what's missing. Granny, is this it? Yeah, but how will we get it up to the top of the tree? We'll just use a ladder, right? Of course, I've got one in my place. Bjorn, will you come with me and help me carry it, please? We don't really need a ladder. I'll just climb to the top myself. I am a bear, you know. Ladder, give me a break. I don't need some dumb... Whoa! Oh, oh, Bucky! Our beautiful tree! What happened to it? Uh, well, the truth is, Franny, I was standing here just doing good things when he appeared. I was just standing around being a positive role model, and the porcupotamus charged out of nowhere! Stomp, stamp, crush, crash! Straight up your wonderful tree! I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen to me! Just look at what he did! And off he thwomped! Lucky, so just what exactly is a porcupotamus? Goodness me! I didn't know it had gotten so late! I have to do something really important, bye! So this porcupotamus has made a lot of messes in a very short time. Yet, he doesn't seem to leave any tracks in the snow which is pretty strange. The only footprints are Bucky's. Bjorn, huh. I'm beginning to suspect that Bucky might be the porcupotamus. Yeah, Franny, I think so too. You know, maybe that storyteller should meet a real porcupotamus. <laughs> Fighting giant robot worms when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're hunting gold or raiding tombs together. <laughs> I can't believe they bought that stuff about the... Porcupotamus. I've been looking for you, Bucky Bear. <laughs> Franny, you have to stop laughing. I'm sorry, but your Porcupotamus voice is just so funny, Bjorn. You've been blaming me for your mistakes. <laughs> Keep up, or else we'll totally fall apart. I'll try, but I can't see where I'm running. Somebody help! Ah! Oh. You cannot escape. Your <laughs> untrue stories have angered the porcupotamus. I'll never do it again, I promise, I'm sorry. Sorry is not enough. You must fix what you have broken. I will, I promise I'll fix it. Good as new, or even better. Well, guys, we're here. Now you can open your eyes. Wowee! It's really beautiful! Bucky, you did all of this yourself? Yeah! All this is for my awesome best friends. It was me that wrecked Bjorn's snow dude and Franny's tree. Bucky, we knew it was you all along. Yeah, we both knew there's no such thing as a porcupotamus. Yeah, I thought that too. But they're really real. Strong and blue and huge. And they know my name. <laughs> there goes Bucky telling stories again. But, oh, never mind. The Bear Claw. Yes! I am almost done with my best invention ever! Done! 
What do you think, Chicky? You love it, right? Chicky, that isn't right at all. Watch this. I'll explain how to work it. First, you put something in the door here. <laughs> See, for instance, a ball. Then, you push down on the lever, move the claw around, See? And you just try to grab a hold of whatever's inside, like the ball. Which I'll grab now. Uh, move it back a bit. Yeah, I've almost got it. Come to me, ball. You're mine! Oh, pine cones. Oh, come on, Claw. No worries, though. Just give me a moment. Yeah, sweet. So we need to put something else into the machine to start it up again. Just like that. Just a second till it's in the claw. Booyah! Come on, come on, you got this! Dude, why? Uh, you are a naughty, naughty invention, and I'm gonna teach you a lesson! Time to lay down the law for the claw! And there! The bowling pin is in! Time for Bucky to win! Aw, thorns and furs! Hornets! Stuff, 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 and things and things and stuff. I know I'll win if I fill it up enough. Why'd I make a game this tough? I need more things and stuff. Ugh. Well, now what? There's nothing left in the house, Chicky. I just had one of my awesome ideas. Wait right here. <laughs> Look, Bucky. Ooh, I just hit two bullseyes one after the other. Hang on, why are you filling that wheelbarrow with all my stuff? Uh, don't worry about that. I'll bring it back really soon. And this, I need all the stuff I can get my paws on. <laughs> Bucky, hey, what on earth is going on? I'm in a hurry. Just come with me and I'll explain. Bjorn, look at this. I made it. It's a claw game. First grab something, then you put it into the machine, then play! Ha! Yes, no! Yes, no! Ha! You're just impossible! It's awesome, huh? Bucky! Hey, do you mind if I try it? Go for it, Bjorn! Nothing. Great news, Chicky. You're getting sent on a big adventure. <laughs> hey, where are you going? You can't run away from your destiny. <laughs> Just get in there, you silly. Lacey's inside. Can I please work the claw? Get in there, Chicky. I don't care what you smell. Go inside. Guys, what are you doing to Chicky? You let go of his wings this second. Honestly. Aw, oh, Bjorn, I'm really sorry. If I hadn't built this infernal contraption, this wouldn't have happened at all. That's all right. This is my fault as well. Winning that game seemed so important we were mean to Chicky. Bucky, does this mean all your stuff is trapped inside that machine sadly ever after? You're a genius! Franny, that's it! I completely forgotten! You see this button right here? Press! Up for some soccer? It's way more fun than the claw game. Whoever's last to the field is a rotten pine cone. Are you honestly not going to clean up this mess? I am not picking up after you two again. Two birds, that's double good.
good luck. You ready for my super intense monster kick? Ah. Hey, that's enough noise from you. Monster kick! Look at it fly! It's going, it's going, it's... One strawberry for you, and one raspberry too. Uh. Ah. It's gone! Hello? Did the sky fall? <sighs> Not the world's best ever pie! No, please! No! We've really done it this time. Why'd you have to do your stupid monster kick? Sorry, I'm just super strong. Oh yeah, I'm super smart as well. It's genius time! <laughs> huh? You're welcome. It's a time machine. We can go back in time to five minutes ago and fix everything. How did you build that so fast? No time to explain it. Now, or should I say then? <laughs> Are we sure that it's really five minutes ago, Bucky? See? Two birds, double good luck! Like before, we just traveled backwards in time five minutes! Cool. Well, I guess, kick the ball. Just aim it there. It's going, it's going, it's... Gone! Yeah! I think I broke your house. Oh, Fjorn, look! Our ball! My little home! My lovely igloo is rubble! It's no problem at all! I can fix this right up! Right. Five minutes ago, one more time. Now! Er, then! <laughs> Bucky, what if we just didn't kick the ball at all this time around? Bjorni, what a brilliant idea! Let's just go fishing instead and forget about soccer! We should be time-traveling superheroes! Let's do that yesterday! Chicky, no! It's going! It's going! What, what on earth, earth have, have you done? done? Going, going, gone! My rocket flies just like a flash and hits a satellite which makes it smash into the saucer of a group named Gorpin Glash who spins like a top and does a crazy crash into a great big nasty asteroid which starts to sail across the void. Hey, do you think that people will be annoyed that a chicken picked a ball and got the world destroyed? Blame the void, Erford. Nice going, Chicky. You just caused the end of the world. Buggy, hurry and push the button. Uh, well, what are we thinking? No, what, Bjorn? Just one of Franny's pies isn't a terrible loss. I agree, my friend. Kick it! It's going, it's going! Oh. Bulls pie! Right, dude. I'll get my tools from home. You pick some real nice flowers. Then I'll meet you at Franny's place. The world's best ever pie. Talk to me, please, pie! <laughs> Gross! That's just awful. I must have mixed up the salt and the sugar again. Franny, it's all repaired. And it's better than it was before. Franny, we apologize. It was an accident. These flowers are for you. Thanks a lot. It turns out my pie was awful anyway. I'd love to be able to go back in time and fix my silly mistake. Don't do it, Chicky! 